Praise the Lord. This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III, pastor of Faith Ministries Church in Columbus, Ohio, inviting you to join me and our entire church on a 10-week journey from good to great. We live in a world that is pervasive with evil. We live in a world where wicked seems to be the way of the world. We live in a world where the demonic just seems to be having a heyday, and under those circumstances, good actually sounds pretty good. In fact, all of our lives we've been encouraged, we've been steered in the direction of the good. We've been told to be a good little boy, be a good little girl, go to a good school, get a good job, find a good wife, find a good man, move into a good neighborhood, become a good Christian, and join a good church. Of course, there's nothing wrong with being good, but God is calling us beyond good to great. That's why in this series entitled Good to Great, in God's eyes. It's based on a book with the same title by Pastor Chip Ingram. For the next 10 weeks, we're going to be examining what he calls 10 common practices of great Christians. These are things that are common to people who have been great throughout the years. And here's what those 10 characteristics are. Number one, great Christians think great thoughts. Number two, great Christians read great books. Number three, Great Christians pursue great people. Number four, great Christians dream great dreams. Number five, great Christians pray great prayers. Number six, great Christians take great risks. Number seven, great Christians make great sacrifices. Number eight, great Christians enjoy great moments. Number nine, great Christians empower great people. And number 10, great Christians develop great habits. These are the 10 practices that he identifies being common to great Christians throughout the ages. And every week for 10 weeks, we're going to examine one of these 10 practices. And uh, we're going to follow along in the book, follow along in the video. And then on Sunday, uh, following the meetings of the groups and so forth, we'll be preaching about that particular practice. Okay? There are three ways that you can participate and get involved in this series. The first is to lead or to join a small group, a group from 5 to 15 people uh, that will meet once a week uh, in a place, anywhere you want to meet, at the church, in the community, wherever you want to meet, and uh, you will read one of the chapters uh, on the specific practice that week. Then you will watch a video where Chip Ingram will teach. You'll discuss those particular questions at the end of the, uh, the, the lesson. And then, of course, uh, that'll be great. So small groups is one way. We need leaders and we need members of small groups. The second way you can participate is as a couple or as a family. Maybe you don't want to go to a small group somewhere else, but you can make a small group in your own house. Actually, you and your husband, your wife, your friend, just inside uh, your own family, your own uh, uh, place where you live, uh, have a group uh, where you can meet. Now, in this instance, you can meet around a website called rightnowmedia.org rightnowmedia.org and the video will be online and uh, you can access it that way you won't need a DVD you can go online and access it that way you can get it on your iPad you can get it on a telephone anywhere where you have access to the uh, the web you can get it at rightnowmedia.org you go to rightnowmedia.org you find the the Bible study lesson entitled good to great in God's eyes and you're you're ready to go okay the only thing is you will have to join right now media dot org and to join it you have to be invited by us it's very simple. Just send us an email and uh, tell us uh, the address that you want us to send right now media to. It's absolutely free and uh, we'll do it. So send it to fmctvoh at aol.com. That's where you need to send it. Send that to us, uh, the email you want us to send it to you, and then we'll do it and get you involved in rightnowmedia.org. So the second way is to join and to participate as a couple, uh, as a family. The third way is to do it as an individual. Suppose you can't get to a small group. Suppose you have a small family, you can't get your family together. You can do it by yourself 
any time of day, 24-7. And you would do that as well at the rightnowmedia.org. So whenever you get the time, you could be sitting on the bus stop, you could be at the doctor's office, you could be waiting on your car to get fixed, and just go on your phone, go on your iPad, uh, go on your PC if you're on break at work, and uh, do the lesson individually. So you really have these three options. You can do it as a small group, you can do it just as your family or as a couple, you can do it as an individual, but the key is do it, because we want to go from good Good to great in God's eyes. So however you access it, however you become a part, we're inviting you, we're challenging you, we're asking you to join me and to join us as a church family. You know, it's wonderful to be good, but God is calling us to be great.